Hello everybody! We are here today at Magic Kingdom because we are going to do a full review of one of the hardest to get dining reservations in all of Disney World and that is none other than Cinderella's Royal Table. I am so excited to finally get to check this restaurant out. This will be our first time ever experiencing breakfast at Cinderella's Royal Table and I don't even know what to expect but we want to give it a shot and we're going to see is it worth coming to Cinderella's Royal Table at Magic Kingdom for early morning breakfast. Let's find out. I had to make her see right here. I see. So it's fair godmother would put it, it's just a miracle that took a little bit of time, yeah? That's right, yeah. I, I had to win her with my charms. <laughs> well, quite charming, I can tell you. Yeah. Are we taking a portrait together? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is there anything you think we should definitely try while we're here today? Definitely try. Well, Jack and Gus do like the cheesecake, for sure. That's okay. always their favorite dessert. Okay. So, that I would sounds take amazing. Anyone's recommendation, I would All take right. a little mouse, yeah? Look at this awesome table that we got. How cool is this? Like literally, right here by the window, outside view, can totally see all of Fantasyland right out this window. I mean, really, we, we got hooked up. Like, we got a really good table. It really isn't a bad table in here, but like, we did get the one with the windows. So that's kind of cool. Right off the bat, as soon as we came in, Tony, who sat us at our actual table, he was from Hamilton, Ohio, like Lindenwald, which is literally right down the street from where we grew up in Ohio. What? How crazy is that? Like such a small world. So what are your first impressions of Cinderella's Royal Table so far? Well, so far I'm excited because uh, the whole walk-in was beautiful. I didn't know what it was going to look like in here. I've never really looked at pictures of it inside here because um, I always thought if I ever come in, I want it to be like experienced for the first time. So. I loved it. It's very um, themed and very uh, detailed on the way in. I already saw Cinderella and she was very much in character and she was super sweet because um, we did a picture, a video, a short video and a picture and she was just very gracious. And um, we got seated pretty much right away and we got a really good table um, by the window. Um, so I'm super excited because there's lots of tables in here and um, a lot of them are like in the middle of a lot of people, but we got over to the side by these um, stained glass windows and so I'm excited. And there's Mickey Shake Blueberry Muffins. And let's start out with just a brief history of this restaurant. It was actually opened in 1971 inside Cinderella's Castle uh, with the Magic Kingdom. But it was actually called King Stephen's Banquet Hall, which is named after Sleeping Beauty's father. Which sounds super strange and weird, and you're probably wondering why in the world was it named King Stephen's Banquet Hall? And it's because of the fact that they wanted to have a regal name with this restaurant. They wanted it to be kingly or knightly or regally or princessy and unfortunately Cinderella's father was unnamed in the movies and Prince Charming's father was also unnamed um, and so they were they wanted to come up with some fancy name so they were like let's use Sleeping Beauty's father I don't know why I don't know why they didn't just call it Cinderella's or Sleeping Beauty or whatever but so it wasn't until 26 years later 26 years it sat under that name that they, until they renamed it Cinderella's Royal Table, um, which thus ended a lot of the confusion that was happening with this restaurant, because people are like, I don't understand why Sleeping Beauty is inside Cinderella's Castle, but 
so yeah, I don't know what they were thinking, but it's just kind of funny, kind of cool to see the history that this was called something after Sleeping Beauty instead of Cinderella's Castle. Sleeping Beauty's Castle is actually in Disneyland, so it would have made sense there. It didn't make sense here. Let's take a look at the menu real quick. So we are here for breakfast. Um, this is the pricing as it currently stands right now. It's $42 per adult, $27 per child. And it looks like they start you out with a pastry plate, assorted breakfast pastries. Uh, and then you choose between a couple of different entrees, traditional breakfast, shrimp and grits. They have a quiche, which doesn't look too bad, honestly. Beef tenderloin and egg, royal avocado toast, and yum, this caramel apple stuffed French toast. Decadent French toast stuffed with sweet cream cheese and spiced apples drizzled with caramel sauce and served with bacon. And then it looks like they have some kids entrees. It says choose one kids entree. Egg white frittata, Mickey shaped waffle, fruit, seed, oatmeal, cold cereals. Or you can do a create your own selection where you choose two of these things. Home fries, pork sausage. And then you get, um, I think you get included as coffee, fountain drinks, iced tea, etc. But they do have additional things like mimosas that you can get. And then they have allergy-friendly stuff. We got our pastry plate. It came pretty quickly. And it looks like it comes with, um, as Candy already mentioned, it comes with these little Mickey-shaped blueberry muffins or something. And we did ask for butter. Yay, they have butter on the side. Um, and then this looks like, was it is it chocolate? Did you try it already? It's like a little chocolate um, pastry. Can't wait to bite into that. And then they have regular croissants, or should I call it a croissant? She gets mad every time I say that. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. She said the guy behind us um, cut his uh, croissant in half. I think he got maybe the traditional breakfast, so he cut his croissant in half and then put like eggs and bacon and stuff in the middle of it and made like a delicious sandwich. I'm kind of thinking that I might do that now. Um, and they came with some strawberries. So the pastry plate looks pretty good so far. So while Steve was talking, I was like, I'm hungry. I'm going to go ahead and try it. So I tried this. I don't know what to call it. Do you know what to call it? He doesn't know what to call it. So um, it has chocolate in it, and it's very light and crispy, and I actually really, really like the texture of it. Um, it's really flaky. Um, it's like, this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I don't really know what to call it. So this little, I don't know, pastry is really good. And I tried the blueberry muffin. I love blueberry muffins. They're so good. This one is really good. I like the texture of it. Um, it's not warm, which is fine. I didn't figure it would be. Typically at Disney, when you get a blueberry muffin, it's not warm. Probably if I asked them, they would heat it up. But I was like, I'm not going to be that high maintenance. <laughs> but we did get butter, and I tried it with the butter. Um, and it's very soft. Um, it's not dry at all, I don't feel like. I feel like it is like moist. I hate that word. Um, this is the inside of it. I fit into Vicky's head. It's fine. <laughs> um, it was really good. So yeah, I liked it a lot, and I tried the strawberry, of course, I love strawberries, and they were ripe, and you never know. Um, I feel like it's hard to find ripe strawberries anymore, but overall, everything's really good. I'm going to wait to try my the croissant um, until, like, our actual entree comes. I can't stop staring out this window. Like, first of all, there's just something magical at being at Magic Kingdom. I guess that's why it's called Magic Kingdom, um, or otherwise known as the Magic Kingdom that she always... It's mad at me because I always say the Magic Kingdom, even though there's a the in the name. But I just can't stop looking out this window and like checking out. I love looking out at Fantasyland. I mean, it doesn't matter what mood you're in when you're here. You just it automatically puts me in a good mood. Like we're literally sitting and overlooking Fantasyland in Magic Kingdom, eating breakfast. I mean, come on, yum! Some people across from us just got this steak and eggs. I'm not gonna lie, it looks amazing. We didn't get that, so I'm kind of, I'm a little bit sick about it right now because it looks so good. Like, yeah, it's like this. I was, I didn't know what to expect, but like the steak, it looks really nice, like beautifully cooked. It's like a little, it's not like a huge piece of steak, but it looks really good. And it's on this like, almost looks like a quiche. It's like a little like thing of eggs. I don't know, an egg muffin. <laughs> It looks cute, but anyway, I'm like sick about it because it looks really good. We should have probably tried that, but maybe next time we'll try the steak and eggs, but it looks really good. 
Now our food finally arrived, and let's talk about what we got. Um, so both of us got the traditional breakfast, which comes with scrambled eggs, comes with potatoes, and the potatoes look like they have some sort of like peppers in them um, and some seasoning. I don't know, they look kind of good. Um, and then bacon and sausage. So yum. Let's take a look here. I mean, the sausage looks pretty good. It kind of just looks like standard sausage. We'll try it in a second. But the bacon looks really good. It kind of looks like like a, like a thick cut bacon. And it's nice and crispy too. So I'm excited to try that. What's interesting to me though is these potatoes. Um, I wasn't expecting them to have all this kind of stuff in it, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, I don't know what it's going to taste like. And then just kind of like scrambled eggs. I'm gonna try this French toast. It does not look like French toast to me. Like it looks, when I cut into it, it looked more like French toast, but you know, I'm used to just looking at like a slice of bread with, <laughs> you know, whatever. Not this, this looks like super fancy. So I'm gonna um, try this. I got a huge bite, so. <laughs> okay, so this is what I think. I like the texture of everything. Um, I don't think the cream cheese sauce in the middle has, I think it needs more sugar. Um, there's some powdered sugar uh, sprinkled on top. Overall, I mean, it's good, and um, but I do think it needs a little bit more um, sugar. I think the potatoes and peppers are really, really good. Um, I put hot sauce, of course, all over mine. Um, you do get the cute little Tabasco sauce to go with it. The bacon is cooked perfectly. I haven't tried the sausage yet. Um, the eggs are a little uh, soft for me. But that's, anybody else would love them, but I like purposely burn my eggs, like purposely. Um, so <laughs> that's just how I like them. Um, but they're good. It's just, you know, they're just a little soft for me, but overall it's really good. Um, I do need to try the sausage, and it's good. Um, so it's, I'm, I'm really glad I got this. Um, I wanted to try the quiche, and maybe next time I come, I will try the quiche. Um, but I was kind of like playing it safe today. <laughs> Um, and I did try the croissant um, with uh, my food once it came, and the croissant is really good. The pastries are cooked really, really well. Overall, I, I think it's definitely worth doing. Yeah, I was a little worried about the pastries, because um, sometimes when we come to the like Disney restaurants, um, I feel like the pastries just kind of come out of like a bag, and they're a little like dense or moist or whatnot. But these are like really like airy and flaky. I mean, I'm sure they still come out of the bag or whatever, but like wherever they're getting them, maybe they cook them straight here. I don't know, but they're they're pretty good. I like them. Nice and like crispy and flaky. Look at this cute little Tabasco sauce we got. How cute is this? I'll be putting that on my eggs for sure. But for me, the um, the caramel apple French toast, I agree. Like I would, I could use a little bit more like sugar. But I think maybe if I had a little bit more of this like um, caramel apple sauce on it, because that caramel apple sauce is it hits. I mean, it's good. I really like it. This is just such an interesting dish. I really like it. I was not expecting this at all, to be honest. I thought it was just going to be French toast with like some apples, like caramel apples, like laid over the top of it, and maybe some like some sort of like sweet cream cheese in the middle of the French toast or like drizzle or something. But it's it's almost like a little casserole, like a French toast casserole with like and there's a lot of apples in here, which I like. Um, the the sweet cream cheese, I just I don't really taste it. I feel like I need to like find another. Oh, there's okay, there's some on this side. Like I didn't. The side that I initially um, cut into, there wasn't any cream cheese over there, so uh, apparently it was on the other side, so I'm going to try it out. Actually, that made it better. Kind of reminded me a little bit of like a Cinnabon with that like icing, that, that um, cream cheese icing they put on a Cinnabon. I actually really like it. I could use more of the cream cheese on here because um, that was awesome. But me, uh, just so we're clear, I usually drown my French toaster pancakes in syrup. Like I like a lot of like heavy, sugary syrup stuff on my French toast or pancakes. So for me, I want more sweetness in here. A little bit, I could use more of the caramel apple drizzle on top. I could use more of the sweet cream cheese in there to balance it out with all the sort of that, um, that apple, like that tart apple and French toast flavor. But honestly, it's a really good dish. I think most people, are, it's gonna be like the perfect balance for them. For me, I want it a little bit sweeter, but I think for most people, it's like right on the spot. Um, are these raisins? Yeah, there's some raisins in here too. It almost kind of reminds me of a bread pudding. I was not expecting that. Mmm, man, the bacon's really good. That bacon's really good. Why is it so good? I mean, it's just bacon, but it's like really, I mean, it's nice and crisp, but it's also thick cut, and it's really salty. It kind of reminds me of the country ham at Cracker Barrel. Like, you know how the country ham at Cracker Barrel is like really salty? It's kind of how this bacon is. It's like, I feel like it's saltier than normal bacon. 
so I love it because I like very salty things. Um, I like the eggs. I know she said they're for her they're a little under, which for me they're perfect. I, I actually like my eggs overcooked anyway, but they're actually they're perfect. Let me talk about the potatoes. I forgot. Um, I really like them. I was worried they were going to be spicy when I first saw them. I was, I was worried because they look like they have like a lot of like spicy stuff on them and there's peppers and stuff, but they're not. They're actually really solid. And I didn't even have to add salt to them. So that tells you they're pretty good. I, I'm going to be honest. I kind of love this. Like I, The potatoes are really good. Bacon's amazing. Sausage is good. Eggs are good. The French toast is really cool. It's like really good, actually. Pastries are good. I'm doing the sandwich thing. I got some eggs and potato and bacon in here. A little bit of butter. Mm. That was it. All that together. Mm. Eggs, butter, potatoes, bacon, all on the croissant. Yum. Perfect. All right, that's like perfection. So there you have it, Cinderella's Royal Table. What'd you think? Oh, I loved it. It was even better than I thought it was going to be. The food was better. The service was really good. Ask for Denise, Mama D, she called herself. Um, she was wonderful. She um, was awesome. And the decorations inside, the ambiance, I loved it. We got sat by a window. So if you want to um, request by a window, I would. The only thing that would have made it better if is if our daughter, Lena, Alexis, uh, Lexi, whatever you want to call her, <laughs> was here with me. Uh, but, you know, she doesn't have an annual pass yet because they just moved here not that long ago and they're not selling them. So hopefully Disney starts selling them soon so I can bring her here. Yeah. I will say uh, Mama D, Denise, uh, she was right on the money. Um, she, she made a few recommendations. Uh, we ended up, like, we, she talked about the, the steak and the eggs. Mm -hmm. The French toast and everything and the shrimp, the shrimp and grits. And grits. Uh, we ended up getting the French toast. She hooked us up with that. Thank you, by the way, Denise, for that. That was awesome. I was not expecting that at all, and it was really good. And then somebody, then the steak and eggs came by, and they looked amazing. Uh, we didn't see the shrimp and grits, but she said that's probably one of the better ones. So I feel like we should have probably listened to Mama D a little bit more than we did. And I, we're definitely going to come back. And she also said, make sure we come back for lunch or dinner, which we're going to do as well. Um, and then you heard from Cinderella's mouth. Even herself, when we talked to her in the beginning, she said the cheesecake's really good. So we're going to come back maybe for lunch or dinner and try the cheesecake uh, that they have there. So overall, honestly, I was impressed with Cinderella's Royal Table. I didn't, I was, I didn't think I was going to be. Yeah. I thought it was going to be just overpriced. You know, it's in the Cinderella's Castle um, kind of restaurant and like you know medium quality food. I thought it was actually really good. Yeah. I thought the quality of the food was really solid. I thought the ambiance was really great, um, and I didn't think the price was that bad at all for what we ended up getting food-wise. It was it was a great experience. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I can definitely see why it's one of the hardest to get reservations um, in all of Disney, for sure. So there you have it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode. That's our full food review of Cinderella's Royal Table. Again, I thought it was great. Until we see you tomorrow, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.